Urid. That looked great. Yes, it did. Do it again. Urid. Sounds pretty good. Red. Red. The focus in our lab is on the R sound, and pretty much everyone knows someone, some child or some adolescent who has some difficulty producing the English R sound. Different than the traditional ways of therapy that involve those internal cues, the biofeedback presents um, an external focus. The kid doesn't think about what their tongue is doing or what their lips are doing or even what they sound like. They think about how this particular waveform on the screen looks. Uh, rhyming? Uh, rhyming? Uh, row. Row. Better. We're using technology that makes speech visible. When the kid says, uh, and when the speech pathologist says er, those look different. We can tell the child, here's what a really good R sound looks like, and I want you to make your R sound look like the model on the screen. As they get into the correct placement, er, the bumps appear as, as they match the template. Er, reason. Er, reason. Much better. So we shift the practice from the auditory domain into the visual domain and hope that that's going to make the difference for these kids. We're going to start with the R sound in order to demonstrate the efficacy of this computer-enhanced intervention for speech sound errors, but we perceive a much broader uh, potential application across different age ranges, across different populations, and we really think that incorporating new technologies into the practice of speech pathology could move the field forward. Raisin. Okay, taller bumps. Raisin. Much better. Third one. Third one's the charm, right?